You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another Team of the Week video. Now this isn't a brilliant Team of the Week, we're all just waiting for the Team of the Season to be released. I believe it is going to be Serie A from what people are telling me, but there is no official tweet or anything from EA yet. The Team of the Season will actually be out at 4 o'clock, so I'll put another video up then so you can go and have a look at it. Now if you're looking for some Ultimate Team coins, maybe to buy some of these players or some packs, then go and check out that link down in the description. So first off in this Team of the Week we have Gamero from PSG. 82 pace, 82 shooting, 81 dribbling striker. Might be interesting to have in your team, but there are a lot of stronger strikers in that league that you probably go to first. We then have Deval. Um, I think it's from Montreal in the MLS. There you can see he has 84 pace, 85 shooting, 69 passing and 81 dribbling. Won't go for very much because he's in a pretty dire league and all of the packs that are being opened because of the team of the season are going to dent his price seriously. We then have second in form Sanchez, the best player of this team of the week. 90 pace. 84 shooting, 83 passing and 91 dribbling. So I'm pretty interested to maybe pick up one of this guy. His inform card is actually very, very good and I really enjoyed using it. We then have Samadov from the Russian League. There you go, 85 pace, right mid, 86 passing and 84 dribbling. Some good stats for him. We have a silver Brazilian. These guys always go for a few coins, so this one may be uh, in with a chance of having a decent price tag. He has 69 pace, 67 shooting, 71 passing, 73 dribbling, 75 defending and 80 heading. So that's very good stats for a CDM. We then have Karadeniz from the Russian League. He's Turkish, he's left mid. He has 78 pace, he has 71 shooting, 76 passing, 85 dribbling. So some good stats for him, but I can't see him going for very much either. We then have Isco, a lot of uh, hype around this guy from Malaga. I think this is his second in form. He has 79 pace, 80 shooting, passing of 82 and 89 dribbling. That 89 dribbling stat looks absolutely amazing. Moving on to the defence, we have second in form, pro, second in form, Progrenier, a pretty non-descript uh, centre back with 54 pace. But I've done a lot of trade with, trading with him this year, and he actually made me quite a lot of money. So a little bit of a soft spot for him, or so, soft spot for him in my heart. Then you get uh, some. Well, this guy's Norwegian from the Tipper Ligan, 72 pace centre back. I can see him going for quite a bit. 72 pace in a silver centre back is quite a lot, and I have seen that he probably is the second fastest now in that league. We also have a Roberto Largo left back and uh, looks like he might be an alright player. 81 pace though which you know isn't isn't amazing for a left back. We then have Munoz in goal from America. Mexican goalkeeper. Can't see him going very much. 77 rating overall is going to mean he's going to come out of his out of packs in his droves and I imagine that YouTubers will be complaining out of their asses that they pull thousands and thousands of him out of packs instead of team of the season. We also have a Robbie Keane on the bench. Uh, I think this is his second in form. 73 pace, 81 dribbling, 84 shooting, uh, 71 passing and 68 heading for him. We have some silvers as well. We have Kim Byung. Can't even, don't even know what the end of his name is. Kim Byung G, there you go. 74 diving, 65 handling, 79 reflexes, and 78 positioning. Goalkeeper from the Korean League. We have Shima, 72 base centre back, and uh, he plays in the Austrian League. So uh, I think that he's going to be going for a little bit. I mean, he's a similar sort of player to the other centre back that we have on the field. And. Uh, He's just not quite in such a good league. We do have a very quick uh, Korean centre-back though. 75 pace, 70 defending and 69 heading. So he may go for quite a lot. People love those Korean teams. We also have another centre-defensive mid Brazilian silver. So he may go for even more than the one that's on the pitch. Mainly because he has 74 pace. And he has very good all-round stats as well. 80 passing, 74 defending and 69 heading. So very strong player there. We also have Per Stola. Um, looks like a pretty, not. I don't know, I don't think anyone one's going to be looking for him in their packs the centre forward who's Austrian and we also have Byrne as well a Irish player and he looks like he might be quite slow with 55 paces as a striker so there you go guys that is this team of the week obviously watch out for that team of the season video that will drop in about an hour but other than that I'm going to have to leave it there and I will see you all next time